everyone, Silver Joker here. Okay, so this comes from a viewer named Jim Houston 1527. He writes, your silver, like anything you own, is only worth what someone is willing to pay you for it, not what you are willing to sell it for. All right, Jim, let's explore that. Now, this is going to be a short video today. This week was all about the prep. And if you're over 50, you know exactly what I mean. That's brutal. It's a brutal process, but so worth it. But that's not what this video is about. I got a comment from a viewer that said I talked too long in the beginning of the video. So I'm not going to do that today. So let's get right into this. Okay, so Jim, you are right, kind of. First, there are very few things that you own that is like physical silver. I mean, your car, for example. It's not going to suddenly be worth more than what you paid for it. As much as you want that, it depreciates as soon as you leave off the lot with it and it just goes down from there. And your TV that you bought last Christmas has not gone up in value. Trust me, it has not. But I want you to look and listen to this. In the year 2000, if you had a $100 bill, you have $74.74 of buying power today. If you had taken that same $100 bill and bought 19 ounces of physical silver at $5.30 back in the year 2000, you would have $482.41 of buying power. Now that's undeniable. You cannot deny that. You can go back and do your own math. Now look, silver's price gains are real, but it's a long-term endeavor. I mean, that's what we preach, it's long-term. I've demonstrated in several videos how physical silver protects your buying power and preserves your hard-earned wealth. There's no doubt about that. There are very few things, in my opinion, that the average person has access to that can protect your buying power better than physical silver. All right, so we're talking about selling your physical silver. So this is an important thing to think about. Who's going to be buying your physical silver when you want to sell it? Now look, I have a friend who lives in California. Many of you know him. In fact, a lot of you guys participated in his very successful 4th of July blowout sale he has on his online selling platform. I mean, he set a price and that price was met by many of you and you got your physical silver. However, many of us <laughs> will be selling to our local coin stores or an online bullion dealer like Kitco. But I want you to, before you Think about selling your physical silver. I want you to hear what a prominent coin store owner has to say about buying your physical silver, how the process should work. Now, this is a guy that I deal with on a regular basis. Now, many of you have heard this before. If you haven't, this may surprise you. No. Uh, but um, silver is still important. It's yep. still just as important as always been. And, uh, you know, just because the price change doesn't mean that your silver is going to be any less than, a, you know, what it is. An ounce is always going to be an ounce. Spot price going up and down doesn't change that. Yeah, and, and like I say, always deal with somebody that's, if they're selling at a premium, they should be buying at a premium. It, it, it doesn't work both ways or shouldn't work both ways. Where somebody comes in with, you know, a bar of silver and um, their ex the expectation is that they only get spot price for it. But when you go to buy it, you got to pay 5 or $6 over spot price to get it. Well... That should not, that shouldn't conflict with the fact that dealers should be paying to get silver, and typically they are. Mm -hmm. To get silver, they should be paying a premium to get it if they're charging a premium to sell it. So Now that attitude right there, that sense of fair play is the reason why he has one of the most successful coin stores in my city. And so there are people like him are out there. You have to find them. Uh, when you go to sell your silver. But that's something that you got to work out when you go to sell it. Another thing to keep in mind is physical silver's price action is constantly moving. Sometimes it barely moves more than a few cents either way. Sometimes it falls, other times it's climbing. But here's the thing. As long-term stackers, under normal circumstances, I'm not talking about 
when you if you have to sell under emergency situations or whatever, I'm talking about just on normal circumstances, you get to choose at which point you want to expose your physical silver to the market. And here's where the idea of value comes into play when you're talking about your physical silver and why I say you determine what you're willing to accept for your physical silver. Okay, so are you ready for this? Because a lot of people miss this. If you don't like what silver is selling for today, then that's not the value of your silver. Your physical silver is only worth what you sell it for today. Just because spot price is $22 and online bullion dealers are paying you $21 doesn't mean your silver is worth that because tomorrow it may be $25 or $30, but it could just as easily be less. Look, the bottom line is silver is always moving. The price is constantly changing, but you won't be able to take advantage of any of those moves unless you have it and you have the discipline and the patience to get the price you want for the value you set. Look, I have silver in my stack that if I were to sell it today, I would absolutely make a profit. No ifs, ands, or buts about that. I also have silver in my stack where if I was to sell it today, I would have to take a loss on it. But that's what long-term stacking is all about. The silver price is going to change. It's gonna change constantly, but that doesn't mean that the value you placed on your physical silver has to change with it. The price is gonna change. You just have to have the discipline and the patience to wait for a favorable time for you to get the value out of your silver. It's as simple as that, folks. There's so much conflicting and confusing information around stacking physical silver out there that it's very important that you understand exactly what physical silver is meant to do for you before you stack it. Before you decide to spend money for physical silver, make sure you understand exactly how it works. Now, I'm giving you this information because I've been there. I've made the mistakes that I'm trying to help you avoid. But listen, you grow from making mistakes. So you're gonna make mistakes when you're buying physical silver. But just make mistakes that are easy to recover from. Only go far as you can recover from easily. That's the advice that I wanna give you. I'm no financial advisor. I can only tell you where I've been and what I've been through, what's worked for me and what has not worked for me. And that's what I want to share with you. So just understand that, yes, you are only going to get what somebody's going to pay you for your physical silver, but you get to choose when that market is right for you, when that price is right for you. You know, it's important that you take care of your physical health as well as your financial health. That's important. And so, you know, you want to be around to enjoy the fruits of your labor. So take care of yourself. Let's just keep the silver train rolling. Appreciate you guys stopping by. Keep stacking. Peace.